waves. Whee! Look how the back spins. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Am I knocking anything down? No? Okay. Fantastic, good news. Let's see what is inside this box. Are you ready? Oh, I'm having way too much fun today. <laughs> Let me put this down. All right. One of the most popular supercars ever is back. Here it is underneath this car cover. Now come around here. It says Lexus Zuzu. Lexus Zuzu. <laughs> it actually says Lexus Sport car cover. So here we go. All right. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Ma -da -da -da. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Bam! There we are. This right here is the LFA successor, the LFB because you know, A, B, C, D. It's probably not gonna be called that. I just made it up. This right here is so special, it does not even have a name yet. It's just been brought in from Japan, the future of Lexus. Right, you may already go, oh yeah, oh my God, it looks so cool. Take me around all the features. Don't worry, it's coming right now. There are a few design features that you will recognize from the LFA. Here, kind of goes up like this, straight down and across, and you've got this triangle form, just like in the LFA, right, in the headlights. But of course, it's fully like updated and modern. There are so many little design features that you can recognize from the LFA, but they've kind of like gone, let's make it super futuristic. At the same time, we need to kind of nod to how cool the original LFA looked, right? So you'll remember on the hood, there were like two little air vents here. Now, instead of having two up here, they've got two air outlets. The LFA I got to drive in Sydney years ago. Absolutely loved it. It's one of the best sounding cars, in my opinion, in the world. Now this is gonna be fully electric, so what are they gonna do with the sound? I really hope that that's something that they're working on because of course, electric cars in the future, they can sound however we want them to sound. So I really hope they take that kind of like LFA scream and somehow work it into how this car sounds in future. You've got these 20 inch wheels here in the front and you've got 21 in the back. So it kind of leans forward, right? And then you've got the center lock wheels. Now this is for racing. It's like what you see, the car come in, comes into the pit lane. So it comes off really, really quickly. That's so cool. And then down here, you'll see this is kind of a sloping back. This is very different from the original LFA. The original LFA was kind of like had a high back and it kind of went straight down, but this is more sloping. The design of this car needs to be a little bit different to the LFA because of course this is fully electric. So a lot of it needs to be designed around the aerodynamics, like how far this car can actually go in one charge, which is, they say, going to be about 700 kilometers. The technology they put into this car is going to dictate the future of all Lexus cars. So the tech that they put in this 
we're going to see in the whole lineup going forward. So they're like, right, with this, bam, we're taking off into a fully electrified future. And they're going to show us exactly how it works with this baby right here. It's rumored that this car could have up to 800 horsepower. That is so much power. Oh my God, it's going to be awesome. So the original LFA has about 550 horsepower. This right here. So zero to 100 in just over two seconds. These are all of the numbers that they're kind of wanting to achieve. Obviously, we'll have to see what happens when the car actually comes out. Look, this little double bubble roof. Look at this. And this is, of course, so you can fit your helmet. So it's gonna be a two-seater car. I'm joking, you don't need to wear a helmet. This car is gonna be road legal, but it's cool how they have these kind of race car elements. Very, very cool. You won't have seen this car on any channel on YouTube so far, this kind of in-depth, up-close look at all of its features. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is what we do best on Supercar Blondie. Right, what's cool is and kind of strange is they have like this traditional looking petrol tank opening. That's where you're gonna charge it, I suppose. <laughs> Look, the thing is, this is a concept. Now, the doors don't open. I've given them feedback that when the car, you know, comes to market, we do need doors that work. We also need the car to turn. And they've taken that on board and they're like, oh, I'm so glad you came here today. What would we do without you? I was like, that's why I'm here, guys, you know. Instead of the doors opening and it actually being able to turn, they are coming up with something super, super cool. They're considering actually putting a simulated gearbox in this. You know, that's something that a lot of uh, people miss. You know, having an electric car and not being able to change the gears. They're thinking, hang on a minute, how do we give that kind of sports car feeling to a fully electric car. So this is something rumored that they are thinking about putting in this car. Now, I would love to see how they do that. Just like kind of, I'm just trying to picture it in my head. It'd be quite cool actually. I like it. All right, approved. Now, when we imagine the interior, I think they're gonna have some really cool features in there. Like when you start the car, the speedometer ring kind of moves from this position to this position and kind of lights up and glows and stuff. It'd be so epic. And then on the original LFA, what was so cool is those really nice like indicator paddles. I wanna see what they do with all of those things that we love about the original LFA and kind of elevate them in this car. Now with the seats, Oh, who knows, maybe they're going to go for racing bucket seats, something super lightweight, keep the weight down so that obviously you can go further in the car. Maybe they've got some beautiful ambient lights. That's what we love. We love these little features and it just makes you feel so cool when you sit in the actual driver's seat. For now, this is your sneak peek of the LFA successor. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs>